Good evening, everybody. Chris Bradley with your Weather Geek Report here on this Tuesday. Got a lot to cover for you here tonight. We're tracking what could be a uh, pretty big severe weather outbreak across the Midwest tomorrow into tomorrow night. So let's begin here first talking about the severe weather risk, which actually is fairly high and has been shifted a little bit south and east. It's close to the Columbus area, that moderate risk of severe weather. You'll notice extends back through Fort Wayne near the Detroit area, then back towards Chicago. That's where we think the greatest likelihood for severe weather will be. But you'll notice the enhanced risk does drop down into the Columbus area. So we'll watch this over the next 24 hours to see if the Storm Prediction Center makes any changes, shifts the moderate risk a little further south, perhaps either adds to a high risk, which is pretty unlikely, or reduces the moderate risk. And like, likewise, I, I really don't see that occurring. So let me take you through and show you what I'm, what I'm concerned about. Uh, here first is a look at the derecho threat. Now you've heard us talking about this, and I use this um, cautiously. We are looking at the potential for a significant wind event. I think wind is going to be our greatest threat. Um, it could be that there are multiple counties under warnings at one time with severe thunderstorm warnings. And this has us a little bit concerned. You'll see here uh, this area shaded in red is actually under a fairly significant chance, a high probability of this wind event coming together. So this is how it looks at 8 p.m. Where is this going to be heading as we go through the evening? That's a key. Initially, the Storm Prediction Center has that greatest risk a little bit to our north, but could they potentially shift it down a little further south, closer to the I-70 corridor? The reason I say that is you'll notice the darker red here, the highest probability of having significant wind damage or a wind event or perhaps a derecho, um, is perhaps even closer to us. So this is the threat overnight tomorrow night. And with that said, I want you to go to bed Wednesday night with either your cell phone close by so you can get the weather alerts. Make sure and go to our website and sign up for weather alerts or have your weather radio ready to go. Have the batteries uh, and your flashlights if for some reason you would lose power uh, or if you had to make a, you know, a quick trip to the basement, if you would, let's say, hear sirens going off. So again, that's a look at the derecho threat during the day tomorrow into tomorrow night. A couple of other severe weather parameters we want to look at. Can rule out tornadoes. That said, uh, this has come up quite a bit, and this is what we call the significant tornado parameter. Where we see the color purple here, that's very high. Anything over a two or a three would be a, you know, a, a hint or an indicator that there could be some tornado activity. This is high. Uh, so definitely something we're gonna wanna closely watch as we head into tomorrow night. Our final look is what we call the supercell composite parameter. Likewise, very high, <laughs> excuse me, um, through this entire area right here from about I-70 south to the Ohio River. What happens sometimes, storms will start making a right-hand turn. So let's say the storms are up here across the Chicagoland area. They could drop down towards the southeast, could come in uh, not only to central Ohio, but southern Ohio as well. Bottom line, we got a lot of questions still out there. This is not a done deal. My job is to make you aware of what's happening now, to have you prepared, and most importantly, to let you know that you need to check in either to 10TV, to Facebook, or uh, to the National Weather Service for those alerts. I want you just to, to know that you're gonna need to kind of be weather aware tomorrow and especially tomorrow night. Weather Geek Live will be focusing on this severe weather event. We're gonna get new information and we'll look for you tonight at 10 o'clock sharp in the meantime, I'll be on 10TV News at 5, 5.30, 6, and 11, and we'll look for you then.